In this video, we're going to introduce the most basic definitions on which this class will be built. Linear algebra is the study of linear equations and systems. So before we do much of anything, we need to nail down what those are. We'll tackle linear equations in this video. You've certainly seen linear equations before in high school algebra. Y equals MX plus B. When the equation is written like this, the x and y variable are serving different purposes. The x is the independent variable, the y is the dependent variable. We could rewrite such an equation, subtract mx, from both sides, and you have 1 times y minus m times x equals b. This is an example of a linear equation in the general form. In general, we learn in algebra that the general form of a linear equation is a times x plus b times y equals c. Note that when you have a linear equation in the general form, it's not clear that we have a dependent and independent variable. This x and this y seem to be playing the same roles. In linear algebra, when we talk about linear equations, we'll always mean linear equations in the general form. And frequently we use x sub i in place of x and y. A linear equation of two variables has the form a sub one times x sub one plus a sub two times x sub two equals b. In this equation, a sub one and a sub 2 are real constants called the coefficients of the equation. While x sub 1 and x sub 2 are variables. The advantage of the general form is that if we want to introduce more variables, we can easily do so. A linear equation of n variables is an equation of the form a sub 1 times x sub 1 plus a sub 2 times x sub 2 plus up to a sub n, x sub n equals b. These a sub i are still called coefficients. The x sub i are still variable. A solution to a linear equation 
is a list of values for x sub one, x sub two, up to x sub n that makes the equation true. So, for example, given the linear equation two times x sub one plus three times x sub two minus five times x sub three equals five, then one, one, zero is a solution because two times one plus three times one minus five times zero does indeed give us five. When we plug these numbers in, we get a true statement. Now, the triple zero, zero, negative one is also a solution. And from this example, we see that linear equations have multiple solutions. Given a linear equation, the set of all its solutions is the solution set of the linear equation. And unless all of the coefficients happen to be zero, any linear equation of two or more variables has an infinite solution set.